Hi, my name is Bill Benson. I'm the co-founder here at Gain Systems. I'm excited to talk to you today in this Gains On segment regarding lead time sensing and prediction uh, empowered by machine learning through games. Lead time sensing or prediction is the uh, estimation of, of the time from which somebody decides they need something to the time they receive it. Generally, these have been maintained poorly and infrequently, uh, sometimes set and then rarely touched. Uh, what we've learned through the pandemic and following is that these can be highly volatile. Um, and if you were to look at any one parameter driving performance, this might be the single most important one. You set it and forget it, right? And those things, and then the user manually adjusts with each order based on their own intuition of what the current status is. So that's bad. Um, less bad would be that you use some uh, dynamic but broad brush parameters, like from this production center, I'm gonna expect this, from this vendor, I'm gonna expect this. When in fact, there's a lot of variance from those, but at least those get updated. And if say you're routing from one continent to another through a port, you can recognize that that's happening faster or slower. Um, good is uh, using real data, observed data, to calculate what the trend in historical lead time has been at a part location, ideally, or if there's insufficient data at a slightly higher level, like part family or part or vendor. So let's assume you're already at the good one and you are looking backwards well. Um, you really miss inflection points that way. So for example, as peak stress in the pandemic, was observed, you would have assumed looking at history that the lead times would continue increasing. And once some of those capacity constraints were resolved, you actually saw lead times declining and that was very hard to see up front. That surge was not just caused by overestimating estimating demand, but overestimating supply time. So you're buying in advance when it wasn't necessary. So what we've done is we've used machine learning methods and really focusing on what's ready, readily available to predict what the next lead time will be. And that uses data ranging from simple things like how many delayed orders exist from this supply source at that moment. And how does that compare to how many existed before? And how did those things correlate with lead time? also looks at location. At minimum, looks at over 500 different potential correlates to determine which ones predict the next lead time well, not just measure the last one. So if you're trying to buffer across a one week lead time, plus or minus four days, that's a very different question than if you're trying to buffer across a one quarter or a half a year long lead time. Merely getting that input correctly defined can reduce the amount of inventory you need significantly or conversely ensure that it's sufficient to meet the need. So if you're understating lead time, that's, a, that's very likely to lead to stock outs and material problems. And if you're overstating it, you're gonna be tying up working capital. accurate available to promise if you're a manufacturer and people are asking you when things can be provided. It can help with long-term planning in terms of vendor collaboration or supplier collaboration so that that's aligned. Um, it can help uh, prioritize work uh, in terms of expediting and de-expediting. So there's, there's many factors at play and, and again if you were to think of one parameter uh, that might touch on 15 or 20 key elements of how much work it is, how effective you are, and how accurately you can predict, lead time is one of those key levers.
Thank you for your time today. We know there's a lot of noise around AI and ML, everything from chatbots to social media ads. But what we focus on here is pragmatic ML and AI that can be operationalized to be resilient across teams and time and has built-in built in bi-directional plumbing. So we're excited to bring this. We think it's highly useful and easily implemented. Thank you.